Hi, I'm T3 stylist ambassador Laura Polko, and I'm going to show you how to get Hollywood waves with a 1.25 single pass curl. Let's get started. What I like to do for this sectioning is I like to go ear to ear. So I'm going to section off this front on this side. I'm going to look a little crazy, but that's okay. And then same thing here on the other side. And then in the back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in sections that are about the size of the barrel. So I'm using a 1.25, so my sectioning will be about 1.25 inches. In the back especially, I want to make them all go the same direction. So that's what's going to give you that Hollywood wave effect. So in the back, I'm going to split this. And I like to hold it from under so I have more control, especially in the back, you don't want the iron to slip and accidentally burn you. And making sure the ends are in is one of the most important parts of this look. And if you want, you can kind of put it in your hand. That way, the curl pattern will cool that way. So then as you brush it out, you have a little more to brush through. So now as I'm working my way up the head, here is where I'm gonna go into the away from the face. So I'm gonna section this off, clip it up. I'm going to take this iron and I like to direct it like kind of against the sectioning. So then when you brush it out, you really get the curl. So as I'm turning it, the key part of this look is the fact that the ends are turned in. You don't want to start at the bottom and work your way up because the more heat you have here, the more you're going to be able to hold that curl. So that's where all your volume's coming from. So you're starting here and then you want to make sure the ends are in because with the ends in, it's going to give you that proper curl. Always, always starting at the root. So you're starting to build the curl at the root twisting it around, really letting it kind of build up here. And the best thing about T3 irons is I'm not gonna get a clamp mark. So that is the importance of buying nice tools is because doing a look like this, you really can't do with anything that's gonna leave you with a clamp mark. And I know thanks to the Sarah Gloss plates, I'm not going to get any marks, especially if I even miss a little bit of the ends, it's not going to be crunchy. I'm going to get a beautiful bouncy curl. So when I'm doing the very front, I like to go about an inch or so back this, you know, an inch and a quarter since that's my barrel size and go down at a diagonal. So that's going to help with that really pretty face framing, which is the most important part of the look, honestly. You do want to be cognizant that you don't need to leave it on the very front very long. I like to make sure the opening is right at the eyebrow. It's right there and I'm going to let it kind of fall out. And here's where I highly, highly suggest letting it cool in your hand because that's the money piece and you definitely don't want to go over it again with any heat. Okay, moving on to the next side. Again, we're going away from the face. So sometimes when you're switching it up and you're having to hold the iron differently, it can really be a real mind trick. So you want to make sure you're always talking to yourself and you're like away from the face. So mentally, you're actually following what you're telling yourself you're doing. That way your curl pattern is consistent and it really gives you the final look you're looking for. Because one curl going the wrong way with this will mess your whole thing up. So I finished all the curling part of it. Now the brush out is very important. I kind of like to hold the very top, the crown, and kind of pull it in the opposite direction. But you really got to brush your hair. Like some people just go like this and it's not going to give you the results you're looking for. Now we're going to do the front. So as you brush through, I like to kind of bat brush, I suppose. And then you can really get it all to blend. So there you have it. This is the ultimate Hollywood wave, obviously you can do a side part if you like. I'm more of a middle part kind of girl. And then you have the, all that in the back. Or you can just let it be soft and loose and it'll last for days and days and days. So that's how you get Hollywood waves using the T3 single pass curl. What I love about using this curling iron is that I don't have to worry about overexposing my hair to heat because of the amazing single pass technology, T3 curls really last. And 
no clamp marks.